What did that say? USA is not okay? Would you stop? Now, wait a minute now. This is the United States of America. This man has a right to say whatever he wants. That's what our Constitution's about. What, these two immigrants here? That's what he feels. Please. USA is not okay. Well, that's the way you feel, Frenchie. Well, go back to where you came from if that's the way you feel. I didn't say that's the way I feel. I'm saying well, he you will right obviously to... agree with him. I agree with the man's right to say what he wants. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, I'll handle this. Sure. What a fountain of misinformation. You cannot speak the international language. You're not happy here, Frenchie. Go back to where you came from and take that piece of garbage with you. All the people do is they gripe about the First Amendment, freedom of speech. And then when some man has enough gumption to give his opinion and express it, everybody knocks him for it. Frenchie, my beret goes off to you. Your beret? Yeah, making Frenchie feel at home. Yeah. Tino Bravo, a powerhouse here in the World Wrestling Federation. No discounting that. Even though he was unsuccessful in his attempt to break the bench press record. And the 712-pound attempt at he and Jesse the body did very nicely. You realize 712 pounds, that's 356 pounds an arm. Yeah. But he didn't do thing. it. It's well, unofficial. It's official. It is not. Well, Frenchie told me. Well, be you know, you, everyone has to make up their own mind. In fact, in the latest edition of the World Wrestling Federation magazine that's on the newsstands right now, the one with the lovely Elizabeth on the cover, the manager of the champion. Rub it in, rub it in. Ah. Doesn't bother There's me. There's a special piece in there on Dino Bravo and that particular bench press issue. So you make up your own mind, folks. Uh oh, look at this. Well, There's that. Pile driver, he Ooh. nailed Omar with it. So he was shot out of a cannon. Indeed, Elizabeth uh, Brain is in fact the first lady of professional oh, wrestling. Oh, come on. Now we got to put up with this now. We're going to start calling her Nancy. No, no, her name is Elizabeth. First lady of wrestling. That's right. Who did you think it was going to be? Peggy Sue? Well, she's a she's more attractive. Yeah. She's more stylish. She doesn't wear wish. cheap, gaudy clothes. Boy, you got terrible taste. Elizabeth is, she's a very beautiful woman, but she's got bad taste in clothes Are and clothes. Are you kidding? This is my opinion. Oh, well, you're entitled to your opinion. Right. So Everybody's put on this earth for a purpose, Brain, even if to be a horrible example. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, are you talking about me? Yes. Don't. Uh oh, here it comes. That side suplex. Nobody delivers it quite like this. Drop him. That made my back just wrench just then. Three count easily. Dino Bravo. Easy victory. Let's get the official. Here is your winner, Dino Bravo. Dino Bravo, very happy as we look at the USA is not okay. Let's go back and take a look at that side suplex that he has patented down and gets the hook. Wow. Okay. This is for you, Dino Bravo. USA! USA! Ken Patel leading the chant for USA as we see Frenchie with the sign says USA is not okay. Well, they're forgetting the rest of it. They're just chanting yeah. USA. They gotta think, USA is not okay. You, know, no. you, you want to start? That no, that's none of my business. 712 pounds. What are your thoughts on that? Well, let's put things into perspective, Mr. DeGeorge. I think he attempted to bench press 712 pounds. That's in right. In my eyes and in the people's minds, he did not do the lift. Tell you what, something we he all and Jesse did the lift. Of course, we're going back. You were the first man in military pressure, as you would put a layman's term, standing up to press over 500 pounds. That's something we know about. That's right. I'm very proud of the fact that I was capable of doing that in the Pan American Games and the Olympic Games for my country. Uh, how would you how would you assess, Ken, the, the strength matchup between Mr. Bravo and yourself? 
I'm not going to doubt Dino Bravo's strength for one minute. He's a very, very strong man. To correlate the 700-pound bench press to the 500-pound military press overhead, it's hard to correlate. But I will give the man credit. He's a very strong man. I'm going to tell you something, Dino Bravo. To prove our strength, I would make a challenge to you right now. Whether it be in bench pressing, military pressing overhead, arm wrestling, bar bending, I don't care what it is. I want you 